Okay. Um, so like I was saying last time, I was probably going to do a little more of these. Um, well, I was going to start trying to do these uh, banner reviews and whatnot. Um, try to get into the flow of that. Uh, so yeah, we're we've got the new mythic hero. Um, I don't, I don't, I was kind of sick yesterday, so I didn't stay up uh, late enough to to make the video that that night and then uh, make it now. But we're we're going on there. Uh, so it's a mythic hero, Uller. Um, she, it looks like a she. We'll, we'll take a look at her because I haven't seen this video until now. Um, but it looks like a she. And Uller is usually, from what I understand, I mean, so those of you who play Smite at all. <laughs> I thought it was a guy, but maybe I don't know. Maybe they just—I I mean, you know, Thor and Loki, I think, are in here, and they're both guys. Uh, they're both girls too. So, um, <laughs> the waifu effect is in full swing, I guess. Um, the other thing is, yeah. So she's gonna affect theoretically. She's gonna affect um, defense or offense in Aether raids in some way. So let's you know, let's see what she uh, see what her main uh, purpose is here. Okay, hopefully that's not too loud. Yeah, I think it is a she. It's kind of interesting. My name is Ula. Once I was called a crusader. So she's a light speed mythic. That's kind of interesting because um, it means uh, it means less that you have to like run air. Like if she's better than air, she's probably not going to be better than air. But you can kind of run her over air because the speed boost is actually pretty important um, in a lot of cases. But like if you're in like CC Vantage and whatnot, like you want to attack more, but. That's fine. Um, infantry, blue. She's going to be fighting against what? Like, blue crom, which everyone ends up having to fight against blue crom if you're in the blue bow section. Uh, let's take a look at her weapon. Um, just cool down, effective against flying foes. If, let's see, if unit initiates combat or if, you, or if foes HP is over 75%. Okay. She gets plus. She gets the attack speed solo, and she gets. Uh, she ignores penalty penalties on her attack and speed. Just kind of interesting. And effects that inflict. Okay, so you can't like guard her. I think she's. I mean, she looks fine. It doesn't really. It's just you know attack speed solo and um, neutralizing penalties on your attack and speed are, are kind of whatever. Uh. Special, yeah, the special cooldown is also whatever. Uh, Dead Eye, so basically, Dead Eye is a two charge special, and if she runs like um, maybe like a heavy blade or something, heavy blade four, she can um, pull it off in, in two rounds at, on a double or something like that, which I mean, is fine. Uh, Live and Death four uh, times pulse, so basically, uh, oh, she doesn't need heavy blade, right? Because times pulse will give her the minus one, and uh, the bow gives her minus one, so it's one turn, uh, she doubles someone, and the second hit will have the the dead eye, which I mean is fine. Um, neutralizes effects. That, let's take a look at her her, her B skill, Evengi Ascendant. <laughs> I don't know how to say that first word. Um, neutralizes effect that prevents units follow up attacks during combat. Okay, so there we go. That's where her that's where her strength lies, right? She can get off uh, one. She can get one uh, dead eye off for free, basically, uh, because she can just she can just follow up attack immediately. So she's got desperation without having to reach the uh, HP threshold. I think it's fine. Um, the problem is like her her place is Aether raids, and if it's Aether raids, uh, obviously it's going to be Aether raids offense. You're just going to go in there, snipe one person, then you got to worry about how to get your character out of there. And given that everybody's running around with um, cav lines, for one, getting an infantry even though a ranged infantry unit getting in there to snipe someone is already hard enough as it is because you're um you've got the range disadvantage um and for two having to like find a target that's worth hitting as well as you know it's kind of whatever so i think i mean i think she'll be fine uh basically what this means is that she's not going to replace air as your um no actually air gives you um, my bad. Air gives you um, res. It's peony that gives you speed, and also, so either way, both peony and air serve a purpose outside of their combat capabilities. Which she obviously probably better than them in combat, but 
they both serve other purposes outside of that. So she's not going to replace any of them. Um, I guess you could run Peony, Air, and her, but at least my light teams, um, running like a third mythic isn't very useful anyway. Um, it's only for stats, right? Because running your third mythic is good on Astra or something like Astra because um, you just get more stats. Like, they have better stats. But, like, adding another speed stat isn't wholly useful, at least for my, my uh, light mythic teams. Um, but it could be useful for your mythic team. You're a light mythic team, so, you know, whatever. Um, so we kind of, you know, we covered her. She, like I said, she's fine. Um, she can't be guarded against, and she has no follow-up and desperation oh, no, built in. She's going to be really irritating to, to see, like, in anything other than Aether Raids, but you're probably not going to see her on offense very much. Unless it's like you're running some sort of weird, like, Mega Gale Force type thing. So let's take a look here. So, so far... Colorless has Mila and Air, which is pr which means it's pretty good for if you're trying to invest in Aether Raids. Uh, Selif. Dimitri, I forget what that girl's name was and I should have, as, like, as long as it was there I should have seen it. Uh, Selif and Shamir, I always forget what her name is. Dimitri, Regan. Saros. Hint. Sigurd, and there's Sigurd. Um, I'm trying to think about. So, if we look at the blue color, we've got Dimitri, the new girl, and uh, Saros, which I guess is pretty good for those of you who want to invest. Because even even if you pull Dimitri and you don't want Dimitri necessarily, um, he's got pretty decent fodder. Um, I think that's the one that has the the extra movement. Uh, no, that might not be him. I don't know. Regardless, e either Dimitri usually has pretty good fodder, uh, but I wouldn't want to pull him. Uh, if I'm pulling on blue, it's going to be for Saros and the new girl. Um, if we're looking at green, Yoon is there, which basically just kills the entire green pool. Uh, but then so is Shamir, which Shamir's not the worst, but she's also not very good. Uh, she's only here for fodder, basically. I mean, she, she can like destroy like it, properly invested and properly set up. She can destroy um, vectors you're having trouble with. But, again, not many people are running, like, infantry teams on defense. And, you know, usually if you have if you have a high enough inve invested vector that you need an answer for them, usually you have another option if they have, like, a Shamir. It's like, oh, I can't tank that, right? Uh, and then there's this, this green tone guy. Uh, I think that's the guy that has... Uh, he might have... Uh, what's that one? G-Duel 4. I'm not entirely sure. But, again, like, the fact that I don't know who that is kind of goes to tell you like he's not very useful um so you know green is kind of a dud basically uh blue is kind of eh uh red gets you reagan or um Selif or sigurd which sigurd with his movement thing is pretty useful on on defense uh but you know again that's if you're running a cav line i'm kind of looking at this from the perspective of people who usually aren't gonna run cav lines or maybe flyer balls or something like that um a lot of stuff is kind of useless so Selif isn't really useful outside of like just arena and like no one plays arena seriously and if you do play arena seriously you're probably um miserable having to deal with that um yeah i don't know just it's a really bad time uh colorless doesn't look too bad uh Mila and air are pretty good um i'm sure the colorless bow there i don't know her name i forgot her name immediately uh actually you know funny enough in the video they skipped over her pretty fast watch I don't know why, like, so she gets her little thing. Okay, Louise, she just, like, shot a guy, and then that was it. Everyone else gets, like, their crazy animation, and Louise just gets to shoot a guy, and then they move on. That's hilarious. Uh, but Louise is there. I'm sure she has good fodder. Um, otherwise, I don't think they would have put her there, but uh, it's probably not great fodder, and it's not like you pull because you need something she has. It's more like if you if you get her, I mean, there you go. Somebody gets, like, a attack speed solo for her. If she has that, I don't think she has that, but she something on that tier, right? Nothing you need, but something that we that might be nice to have. Um, so overall, I think this is a weird light mythic to come out. Um, yeah, she's just weird. I mean, there's nothing else to say. She's very aggressive. Um, yeah, she's very aggressive, and that's about it. I mean, the thing with light, the thing with your mythics is usually they want you want them to be supportive in some way. So like Mila at least gives isolation or something on someone. Um, Air does a lot of stuff, so like there's the Air Force type thing. Um, you can run her. 
to soak chills and stuff. Uh, if you know, just life and death on both on both attack and uh, both her A slot and the C slot, and then she soaks up a bunch of chills. That's what she does for me anyway. Um, and then she can kind of kill, but you know that's sort of cleanup. That's not going to be your main purpose. Now, if you need another cleanup unit as, along with air, or if you don't have air, and you, or you don't really feel like in, in, in investing in air, then um, she's pretty good. But she kind of serves the same purpose of like, like for those of you who 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 have um, who have what's her name, either Duo Lin or uh, Duo Makaya. No, no uh, Duo Lin. Or dual Byleth. They, she kind of serves a similar purpose. She's very hardcore nuke. Just go in there. Dual Byleth can get her doubles off and then not get countered because you can run Wind Sweep on her. Dual Lin gets quads, and if you run Wind Sweep, she gets a double, and then they can't counterattack, right? So she serves a similar purpose as them two, but for one, she doesn't have flyer movement. Um, and for two, they can work outside of Aether, right? I use them in a lot of cases, and we use them in a lot of cases for flyer ball, right? Uh, but uh, her lack of mobility and such kind of makes her not as good. Now, you can run her on like a odd Tempest or even Tempest and then kind of patch that up a little bit, which, you know, you might get if that's the, if that's the right Dimitri that's on the banner. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Personally, I'm going to probably skip on this one. Uh, save my orbs. For those of you who saw <laughs> the two videos I released, uh, we're kind of – I'm at 315. I, I made up a few of the orbs that I had lost. So uh, we're at 315 currently. Uh, and a banner like this isn't really worth uh, in my investment. Now, granted, the air would probably be something to look into because my air is only plus four, and I, you know, that's part of what's holding me back in the Aether Raids thing is my not necessarily like like straight up like like oh my refusal to invest, but like I kind of don't really feel like pulling for more copies of air um, when they're not beneficial. Like if there was a, if the, if the if the colorless pool was stacked with better units, I'd probably pull and you know get more copies of air. But I don't. I really don't want Mila because I don't use her on. I wouldn't use her. Uh, and then I don't want this other unit, and it's not worth pulling 100 orbs, dropping 100 orbs to get another copy of air, right? So that's kind of my my major gripe there. Uh, but other than that, I mean, if you, if you like her, if you like her kit, and you like the super aggressive, um, if you like the super aggressive like bow user that's just going to stomp on people um that you can like like if you have like if you give her odd tempest and you have her on offense right so you give her odd tempest or even tempest um and then you have like you know five dancers maybe she can snipe all five units or whatever right um that's a possibility uh you can try that out that sounds kind of like a little bit of fun but it's not really my my thing and you can kind of just do the same thing with um with duo lin at like not only that but they also gave duo lin for free to everyone so you know, it's kind of hard to argue that you want a unit like this when Duo Lin is, you know, we all have Duo Lin already, right? So uh, that's kind of that. Um, but yeah, so that that's that. Hopefully someone could take something from this and um, most of you are saving your orbs if, in fact, you don't find anything useful on here. A lot of people do like these three calves, though. Um, especially Regan is pretty good on offense because, like, Regan... See, if you were to compare Oler to Regan... They're both very aggressive, very, like, go in and hit someone. But the thing is, Regan has three movements. So she goes in, hits someone, probably kills them, and then leaves, right? She has the Kanto, so she can get out of there. Where the problem with Uller is you have to waste a dance. You have to, like, waste movement movement options. You have to, like, play around her. Where Regan, you can throw her on any team, and she goes in there, nukes someone, then runs away. And now you're fighting, you know, uh, a five on six or whatever. Or, uh, yeah, I think it's five. I don't know. I <laughs> forget already. But you can reduce the numbers, right, and then make it easier for you. So that's kind of what Regan offers where, you know, this unit doesn't because of her lack of movement abilities and such. Uh, but, yeah, other than that, uh, hopefully somebody found this useful and, uh, you know, there you go. I think, I think it's a skip, but, you know, it's up to you depending on what you need, what you value.